An exciting development in the treatment of MS. The FDA has approved a multiple sclerosis drug called Ocrevus, the first treatment for the most severe type of the neurological disease. Tom Burton, who covers the FDA for The Wall Street Journal, joins us now from Washington with more details. Hi, Tom. Thanks for being with us. Hi, thanks for having me. So, Tom, what exactly is this new drug approved to treat? It's approved to treat about 15% of the 2 or 3 million people around the world who have what's called primary progressive multiple sclerosis. These are people, these 15% are people who, unlike the majority of people with MS, um, in the majority, the, the disease comes and goes. It flares up or it remits. In this primary progressive form of MS, it comes on steadily. Uh, it can be immediate and overnight, or it can progress over years, but either way, it's a steady progress, and it's considered the most severe type of MS. For this 15%. And so this treatment, is it a once-a-month drug? How is it meant to be taken? And what is the cost for the treatment? So I believe it is once a month. It's an injection. Um, the cost is $65,000 a year, which is clearly going to be a big issue. It, uh, I believe Genentech, the maker, says that it's at a, a discount to some of the existing MS drugs. But by any measure, $65,000 is a huge amount of money. And particularly if somebody has to pay that on his or her own or has modest insurance. I mean, I know from reporting in the past that people who've been on drugs that were four or $5,000 a month have simply had to stop taking them or take them half the time. And obviously, it doesn't have the effect if, if that occurs. Yeah, that cost is quite high, as you pointed out. Uh, will those who have insurance, will their insurance cover the entirety of it? Well, I imagine it will. I think insurers are in the process of making that decision. Mm -hmm. um, in many cases, co uh, companies who make drugs are starting to ne negotiate with pharmacy benefit managers, such as Express Scripts. Um, but in a case like this, where it's, it's, it's a new drug for an illness that was really untreatable before, I don't think most insurance companies will have any choice but, but, to, um, but to use it. Sure. Now, how is the MS community reacting to this news? They must be pretty excited about it. Yeah, you know, um, so I haven't been in touch with the MS community prior to yesterday, or at least for a long time. I, I've certainly had a lot of dealings with them in the past. But I do know from just talking to folks last night that they're just super excited. They're over the moon. And, and these people with this very severe type of MS, they've looked at the advent of a dozen or more treatments that have helped other people with this relapsing, remitting form of MS. They've seen all these other treatments and kind of been jealous and, and kind of thought, well, why not me? And so this is the, the chance for them to get some treatment. Absolutely. And how effective has this tre treatment proven to be? It's one thing to get FDA approval, but how much can these patients actually expect to see their MS improve? I think it's pretty dramatic. Honestly, I have not had time to study the numbers um, yesterday. Uh, there are various studies <clears throat> showing the drug's effectiveness both in relapsing and remitting and in this primary progressive. It's supposed to be pretty powerful. And um, I know it's based on research done by Dr. Stephen Hauser in his lab at the University of California, San Francisco. A lot of the basic scientific research over many years uh, was done at, at uh, Dr. Hauser's laboratory and, and, and led in part to this drug. Very promising news for MS patients. Thank you, Tom Burton, for that report. Thanks, Tanya.